Guys, it's CK here and today welcome back to Drive Club. Now what we're going to be doing in this episode is testing out two cars from the brand new DLC. The first is this, the McLaren 570S, one of my most anticipated supercars of the year. And the second car is going to be the Nissan 370Z Nismo, a very respected car in the GDM scene. But for now we are on one of the Japanese tracks, I believe it's called Kabodo, and, or Kabado I believe it is. And we're going to be testing out the 570S, so my main goal for this video is to find out if this thing is better than the original 12C and the 650S. Now obviously it doesn't compete with the P1 because that is a hypercar and this is a supercar. Although McLaren does class this thing as a sports series car. 3, 2, 1 and go! Not bad, not bad indeed. Now obviously the 650S has got more of a kick in terms of accelerating than that because it has like about 641 horsepower even though the name says 650 but it's the exact same deal with this. This is 602, no, no not 602, 562 horsepower. Oopsie daisy, messed that one up. Yeah we're just going to go around these corners, see how the car feels. We'll keep it in third person for the first lap so you guys can bask in the looks of this thing now. I know a lot of people have said that the back end of this thing is a little ugly, but I quite like it. I actually applause, I actually freaking take my hat off to McLaren to actually make a car look a little bit different, if you know what I mean, from all of the other models. Because the 12C and the 650S are basically the exact same car, 650S is just basically a revised 12C. And the P1 is just kind of like the daddy of them all, that just sprinkles down its style into nearly every single McLaren model. But this is kind of a mixture of all of them. It's a mixture of the 650S, the 12C, and the P1, as you can plainly see from the front. But it's kind of its own unique character at the back. So the, the, at the back, it really reminds me of that Ferrari Sergio Pininfarina concept. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but it was shown at the Goodwood Festival of Speed um, a few years back, I think it was. So I think they are actually going to be making a product, a, a product. A production version of that Sergio Pininfarina concept because it's a very very good looking car and yeah it's a Ferrari so you can't exactly go wrong there can you so jump into the cockpit view now this is what I like as well in this car is definitely got more like creature comforts and more extras on it than like the 650s and the p1 because the p1 is quite bare bones obviously you get like the iPad looking touch screens shit like that but you just, it just looks like it's got more and stuff, so it looks overall more fancy. Now in terms of the specs, this thing has got a twin turbo 3.8 litre V8, 562 horsepower, 443 pounds feet of torque, 0 to 62, 3.2 seconds, and a top speed of 204 miles an hour, so that is only 3 miles an hour off the 650S, which is a top speed of 207, so it's not bad, man, it's not too shabby, seriously. Come on, oh, there we go, oh, yes, you can kick the arse out on this thing a little bit, especially if you hit the handbrake. Come on, come on, get out, there we go. It's very controllable as well if you want to actually correct the slide. Yes! Ha 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 because that's the problem the 650S has, especially in Forza Horizon 2. If you push it too much, you're going to be going down, seriously. Because you can feel that in the 650S when it's like wanting to overstep the boundaries. But in this thing, you don't really feel it. You don't really feel it because the wheelbase is quite short in this car, so you do have confidence to actually take it in a corner at full speed and sideways. And you can control it very, very well. So. We're going to go for a flying lap now guys, I'm going to try my best to concentrate and see what we can actually do in terms of times for this car now. I normally get around about a 31 
uh, a 31 seconds lap time around this track, I think it is, or 1 minute 31, I'm not too sure, but anyway, here we go, oh god, break, 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 break into that corner. Now, I'm not the best, like, circuit racer or, like, time trial racer ever, guys, so do forgive me. You know me, I'm mostly, like, drifting and cruising, that's my style. Right, that was 30 seconds there, come on. Oh god! Kicking out the arse there, Jesus Christ! That's it, baby, that's it now. In terms of the noise, I don't really know what to make of it, seriously. Obviously, it's not a naturally aspirated engine. It doesn't, like, sound as good as a naturally aspirated engine, but... Yeah, it's not bad for what it is. A twin-turbo V8 it is nice. It is very nice, so... I really hope that Drive Club, like, bring in the 488 GTB Ferrari, because it'd be quite a nice like, little interesting battle to do between these two. Now, I know the 458 is more for the rival of this thing because uh, it's kind of weird, it's kind of like McLaren backtracked because we had the 12C with 592 horsepower, um, this thing is 562, and that's the exact same power that the 458 Italia had at launch, so yeah. Does this mean they're going back in time? I've got no idea, but... Anyway, I think the 488 GTB is kind of more of a rival of the 675 LT, you know, like, the long wheelbase version of this car, so... Not this car, the, the 650S, that's what I'm talking about. It's really, really easy to get confused with McLaren's models now, <laughs> it really is, so... Yeah, we'll take it for another short blast, guys. Around there, I didn't really see the time that I had for this, and then we'll move on to the Nissan. Jesus, oh god. Getting the car a little bit dirty. You can see it. That's the good thing about Drive Club though. Uh, after all the updates and stuff, it's finally became quite a good game. Oh god, oh. Jesus, nearly spun it there. Nearly bloody spun it, man. Oh my god. Now, overall impressions of the car from my first drive, it is very, very agile, very, very quick, and it does like to get the arse out, as I've said before, but. Yeah, is it what I was expecting? Yeah, definitely, definitely, but is it better than a McLaren 650S and a 12C? That is a tough, tough question, because both of them cars are very, very good in terms of handling, acceleration, just overall being a supercar. If I had to do personal opinion, if I had to pick, like someone says, oh, there you go, EK, you can have the keys to any one of these you want. I'd pick this thing, seriously, because it stands out. It stands out, it's not like the 12C or the 650S. It's got different looks to it, and it's a different old, it's a different overall car, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I would definitely pick this little thing over the 650S and the 12C, so. Anyway, what we're gonna do right now is jump over to another track in the Nissan 370S, uh, 370Z, that's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions on the brand new McLaren 570S in the comments below. So here she is guys, this is the 2015 Nissan 370Z Nismo. Now I don't know what you guys think of it, but that front, I don't really like it. Seriously, it kind of looks like a fish. It does kind of look like a fish. It kind of reminds me of the Spiker C8. You know that sort of bottom feeder kind of look, if you know what I mean. I don't know why, but I don't really like the redesign of this car. I'm sorry for the true fans of like the Z, although the back looks really nice and the rest of it, I'm just not a big fan of the front. I really, really don't like the front. I don't really like the front, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm more of a fan of the older year of the 370Z, but yeah. But that's Sinclair Pass now, guys. One of my favourite tracks in the game, and we're going to try and test this thing out now. When I was driving up from the starting line there, I just noticed this car isn't really that loud. I'll let you guys see it for a second. I mean, it kind of, kind of sounds, I think it would you call it, it kind of sounds silenced a little bit. I don't know why, it has the GTR feel, even though the GTR is, like, really loud at times. You know what I mean, it's sort of kind of like, the sedated sound. Kind of similar to, like, I'm trying to think what other cars out there are like this. Um, the only one I can think of right now is the GTR, but, yeah, I wish there was more shoutiness with this car. I wish there was a little bit more shoutiness with this car, but... Anyway, let's actually get to the handling of this thing, because it's a 370Z. 
So you know what I'm going to be testing that out for? Drifting. Oh yes, because I've got to say, I, c I prefer the 370Z over the 350Z, because I know a lot of people like that car, but I just like the lines overall on this car. It's more chunky, it's more aggressive, so I am praying that this thing is in NFS 2015, because if we get like big body kits for this, oh, I'll be a happy wolf. I will be a very happy wolf man, because I'm trying to think like of all the import tuners we've got in there already. We've got the BRZ, we've got the 180SX, we've got the 2000 GTR. Uh, I hope we're going to have the R34 and the 370Z seriously because uh, I think it's only really Nissan we've seen in terms of import tuners. So yeah, uh, apart from the Subaru BRZ obviously, but it'd be nice to have some old classic like Hondas or something in there. Now I know a lot of people say oh Hondas are for racers and stuff, but if you put in the S2000 like the old Civic EK9. That'd be a very nice touch. That'd be a very nice touch. Maybe even some Integras, so... We'll change into the cockpit view. <laughs> I forgot about that dash cam view in this game. So, oh my god. We're actually in a freaking right-hand drive car for once. Oh my god. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh god. Nearly hit the freaking wall there. Right, come on. Come on, Frankie boy. You can drive a little bit better than this. Come on. Now, obviously this thing isn't the fastest car in the game, as you can plainly tell, but it's actually ranked very, very low on the list of like the Drive Club cars. I believe the Challenger 392, which came in this DLC, is actually more, uh, it's actually the most spec in, specs in this thing, but obviously it's not going to have the handling of this because it's a big American V8 motor. <laughs> Now, I don't know if you guys want me to test out the rest of the cars in this pack. I probably will be testing out the Z06 because that has come in, the C7 Z06. And there's a funny looking little Peugeot concept. I do believe they showed it on Top Gear once. Kind of like a trike looking thing. I think it does have four wheels, but it does remind me of like Tron bike. It does kind of look like that. Um, and also kind of like a Batmobile, like the Bat bike. Uh, but I'm trying to think what else is on this pack apart from this. We've got the GTR. How can I forget that? We've got the actual GTR in Drive Club, guys. So I know that there's been a lot of people asking for that, saying, well, why is there hardly any Japanese cars in the, in the game? So we've got you covered for that now. I really like the little racing stripe on this wheel, guys. I mean, it just adds a little more of a racing driver touch to it because I wish more cars had that, even like little daily drivers and stuff because it's really, really good. It just lets you know where the car's going. You can just point it into a corner. Come on, baby, get sideways. Get sideways. I want to test it out now for getting sideways because it's a Japanese car and I want to get it sideways. Come on. Oh, yes, there we go. That's it now. I do think this could have used a little bit more horsepower. It does have 350 horsepower. Not saying that's a little amount, but for this, I think 450 would do pretty damn well. Seriously, 450 horsepower. If it does eventually come into Forza Horizon 2 or Forza Motorsport 6, then yeah, definitely, definitely 450 horsepower. That's what I'm going to put it up to. Oh, did you hear that fucking backlash and back crackle on the overrun there? Oh, that's probably the best sound this thing's actually made, but anyway, my first impressions on the handling of this little thing. It grips very, very well, surprisingly, and now I know this is the Nismo version, so it does actually have a lot more, like, racing features and stuff on it, so I do believe it actually has bigger tyres as well, so, yeah, more grip equals faster lap time, so we're going to try and get a hot lap in right now and see if we can get it quite near the top, I'm not too sure, because... I do watch some other people that put up Drive Club uh, and their times around this track are quite similar to mine so yeah we're going to try and beat them, we're going to try and beat them so let's keep going, let's keep going, ooh Jesus. Now let me know in the comments below guys, do you want to see some more videos like this where I take a couple of cars around some tracks in Drive Club and just basically do like a mini review of them because it's nice to change things up a little bit because um, obviously I want to bring variety to the channel, like builds, car reviews and stuff, because I don't want to do the same thing over and over. But yeah, that's what I like doing, I like doing these sorts of reviews. Even though if they're not the most entertaining, like me being bubbly and cheery and that, because I'm focusing on the car, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. Going up the hill, going up the hill. This bit is quite nerve-wracking on this track, especially in like the hypercars, because 
there is a little bump there and if you're still on the gas the tires will do like freaking wheel spin at like a hundred miles an hour over that bump so yeah you need to watch yourself you need to watch yourself god this racing stripe is doing very very well i like it i like it so anyway guys we're gonna end this video off here today for the review of the 570s and the 370z there we go i said it right this time what lap time are we gonna get we got a 30 oh jesus christ 33 Point nine six nine, I think it was there so yeah the first lap was the fastest so so without me rambling on anymore guys if you're brand new to the channel then why not hit that subscribe button and while you're down there hit that like button as well let's see if we can get this video up to 500 likes and yeah if you want to follow me on Facebook and Twitter then the links are always down below so yeah from me and the 370z and the McLaren which is nowhere right now <laughs> see you next time peace